Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and Stacy's not with me right now. She's letting me do this video. Oh, we're part of, or I'm part of, the Fashion Girls. Okay, so today, um, this is my own hair. Yes, I need a color desperately and a trim. And so I'm just kind of doing this today as to show you in these terrible, terrible times of the coronavirus, um, we're kind of trying to go, the theme of the day is natural. So I couldn't go with obviously a little makeup. Sorry about that. I had to put a little makeup on. Um, but today I'm going to try and show you a little bit about um, eating healthier, especially in the times we have right now. Uh, you know, we're stuck at home. Um, some of the states are just starting to slowly come out, like us here in Pennsylvania, to slowly come out of the so-called uh, stay-at-home order. So, um, Stacy and I, you know, we have some medical issues and we need to start to eat a little bit healthier. Now, I wanted to go a little more organic, a little more gluten-free, um, you know, so we're not going crazy with it. Um, as you see on our channel, we do belong to Thrive Market. Um, it is um, a membership and we're kind of enjoying it. We enjoyed our first order. We're still trying some things out. So, you know, we are letting you know how some of the things are, the products are that we're trying out. So in the meantime, if that's something you don't want to do right now, you can buy a lot of organic things, uh, products out there in your markets. And the markets that I have around me, you know, most of the items are available. What I'm going to show you today are some of the things that we have been buying. And you, th everyone thinks it's expensive to eat organic. It doesn't have to be. Um, organic, we found out certain things do have a better taste too. Uh, you know, a little more fresher taste. Uh, so, you know, again, you can get things in your local markets. Now, I found out my giant food stores around here um, have a humongous amount of organic um vegetarian vegan plant-based items so they do have a big big variety and so um besides that also walmart so i'm no law you know no way shape or form affiliated or speaking for giant or walmart they're just the two stores that i find that we have been getting a pretty good um, selection for a decent price of the organic plant items, um, you know, plant-based foods, uh, things like that at, quote, a decent price, okay? So um, I'm just going to show you a little bit of my haul here. I tried to pick some things out, a little bit of everything. Here is... Sorry about that. Here's some of the things on my counter. I have some on the chair and I'm going to be going through with you. I'm going to try and remember, sorry about that, some of the pricing of the items that I picked out. Now, um, I guess, you know, I kind of have everything like thrown all over the place here. So um, I guess we can try, first of all, um, you know, we'll try with the milk since that seems to be a staple. Uh, again, I know the grocery issue is tough out there these days, groceries and meats and things like that. Um, so it's, you know, it's what you can find. I do, I do find that there is a little bit more organic on the shelves out there right now. So don't be afraid to buy it, um, you know, rather than your regular food. So I guess what we can start with is your first staple, which everybody goes for, and that's milk. Now, Stacy likes, first of all, we're lactose, not totally lactose intolerant, but um, 
we're very we are sensitive to it okay it it just depends in the amounts we can have a little bit if we go overboard we're no good okay so our brand we like to drink almond milk all right so we buy the unsweetened vanilla silk almond milk in the gallons um it has you know it's for strong bones it has 30 calories per serving um, and you, I'm not going to read every single label. You can if you want to when you're out there in the store. This runs, I usually get this for about $3.99. Um, and that seems to be the norm with the milk. Um, so uh, it's very, very tasty. Again, it's unsweetened vanilla. You can use it in recipes. We use it in smoothies. We use it in just about anything. Cereal, oatmeal, everything. So we do like the taste of almond milk. Now, if you have a nut allergy, there's other milks out there. There's tons of other milks out there. There's, you can try the lactaid, um, you, it, which is popular. But if you wanna go to the, the, organ, the almond milks, there's oat milk. Um, you know, and then all your other nut milks, like your macadamia nut, your uh, um, cashew nut. And so there's tons of other options out there. This is the one that we thoroughly, really, really like. Okay, so I'm going to sit that down here. The next one that Stacy really likes is by, we buy this as a small one because Stacy likes this for a change from the almond milk. Um, this actually is sweetened. It's vanilla. It's the So Delicious Dairy-Free Organic Coconut Milk. Now, by the way, way the silk uh, almond milk, and I also buy almond breeze. It doesn't matter, whatever brand I can find. Uh, the So Delicious Organic Coconut Vanilla Milk is 80 calories per serving, and it is derived from coconuts. It's coconut milk. There's a recipe on the back to make lemon poppy seed muffins with it, which actually sounds really, really good. And it does have ingredients here that you can use in it. Um, and for all you people that don't know a lot about coconut milk, um, it just says uh, the coconut deliciousness you love, when you, can, you don't have to refrigerate this. And because it can be stored in the pantry, you always have enough for matcha smoothie and indulgent hot chocolate or lemon poppy seed muffins. So this, the coconut milk in this, can, this packaging does not need refrigeration. So that's good if you wanna stock up on it now um you know we don't know what else is going to be down the road all right and like i said it's 80 calories per serving this is four servings per container um so uh yeah it, it makes wonderful smoothies and to bake with so here is another option to milk okay then Since we're on the milk issue, I'm going to, we like yogurt. Stacy cannot eat regular yogurt. She has to eat it, you know, because of the dairy. We found the YoPlay yogurt in lactose-free. It only comes in a certain, like maybe strawberry, blueberry, vanilla. It doesn't come in a whole lot of um, flavors. It's YoPlay lactose free yogurt we have been buying this a long time i do find this in giant uh sometimes i find it in walmart but giant seems to be the place that i can find it at if this one does have 150 calories in it um and your sugars is 19 grams so it's a little high in the sugars but if a little cup of yogurt every now and then you know she really likes we use this in our refrigerator oats also Okay, so, you know, again, uh, it's the lactose free. This, um, this yogurt probably, I think it runs like maybe, I want to say 60 cents a cup. Okay, so it's very, it's not that expensive. All right, so I'm just going to like put this to a side. Um, oh, the coconut milk, by the way, that coconut milk, I believe, was around 210 dollars and ten cents for that so that wasn't bad at all for that either 
okay so that's your milks all right as far as bread goes um i buy you know as far as any of your breads out there i like honey wheat or wheat you can buy organic Mo i'm not i don't have one to show you but most stores well, if you read the labels, it will say 100% whole wheat, you know, if you're not gluten free. Uh, so to go into all of that is, you know, most stores have their type of bread or what your choice of bread is you like to eat. However, there's one brand that I got and my sister told me about. It's by Arnold. It's called Whole Grains and it's Oat Nut. Now, this bread, I did pay like $3.29 a loaf for, okay? And I did find this in Giant also. So this oat nut bread has no artificial preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors, and 27 grams of whole, grams of whole grains per two slices. Simple ingredients, no added nonsense. So this is as... No high fructose corn syrup and made with real hazelnuts. So you're getting your nuts, your proteins. Um, there's quite a few slices taken out of here. So it is a bigger loaf than this. Um, I've been using it. And this is by Arnold. And I think you can get it in a Walmart and you can get it in Giant. This one I got in Giant. Okay, but I know you can get this in both places. And that's now that's your staples to eat a little more healthier for your milk and bread. Okay, so since we're staying on the bread theme, I'm just doing this because I have everything like really close to me here. All right, I actually, I wanted to try these. If you don't eat bread and you like tortillas, um, I got... They're the Chi Chi's white corn, which are gluten free, taco style 18 tortillas. Now, I'm new to tortillas. I thought you could just wrap them up, make a fajita with them. Well, what I did not know, you most what you mostly do with corn tortillas, you have to either deep fry them, bake them to make enchiladas, which I'm going to make. I haven't had enchiladas in a long, long time. So I'm going to try making my own enchiladas. But these are the Chi Chi's white corn taco style 18 tortillas. Okay. And there is a recipe back here to make cheesy chicken fajitas, um, which you, uh, you actually think the cooking directions roll them up with a toothpick and you deep fry them. There's huevos rancheros, which I've never tried. I'd like to make some of them with the eggs and the refried fried beans. And uh, that's something I might even try myself. They have 110 calories and they are good for vegetarian. Um, mostly if you're, if you're vegetarian and worried about, um, it's white corn masa flour, um, yeah, very good, very organic. And these are the Chi Chi's white corn, uh, fajitas. I think these were around two and a quarter for this pack. Um, these came from, I can honestly say these came from, I believe Aldi's. We did an Aldi's order and the girl did, um, actually, I wanted the flower ones because um, I like to make wraps out of them. The girl replaced them with these. So it was a good replacement because it's a chance for me to try them. So they're, they're Chi Chi's corn tortillas. If you're vegan, vegetarian, that kind of thing, I want to eat healthier without the flour. Okay. So that, I think that concludes the bread. Okay. The bread aspect of it. So let me see what I did with it. Okay, so we'll put that there. Alrighty. Now, um, I think what we will do next, we have the bread, the milk. We did all of that. Okay. Um, before we get into like other foods, okay, let's get into some breakfast 
you know, it's breakfast and um, a healthy snack on top of it. Um, I picked up flax and blueberry granola. My sister told me about the granola that, you know, that she gets. This obviously was bought in Giant. It has the Giant symbol on it. It's oats, flax seeds, and blueberries, 29 grams of whole grain. You can eat it in a, in a bowl uh, as a snack or a topping. It has granola, flax, and blueberries and oats. Very, very natural, very healthy, very good as a snack. I just had some this morning with yogurt and a piece of toast and coffee. That was my breakfast. And this bag, I believe, was like, I want to say $2.99. And this was bought in Giant, and they had all different flavors. This was the one that just appealed to me. Um, it's six servings per container, 210 calories for two-thirds of a cup. All right, and that is flax and blueberry granola. Granola is very, very good. Um, you know, it has freeze-dried blueberries, cane syrup, whole rolled oats, oat flour, crisp rice. Very, very, as far as um, organic or natural as you can get. Okay, so that is your flax and blueberries. Okay. Then if you're looking for a breakfast or a snack, um, again, this is also a good breakfast. I'm just moving some of my groceries out of here. Um, I found these also I bought in Giant. Um, I think these were only $1.19. These are salt-free rice cakes. And I think they were $1.19. I got, there's 10 in a bag. I believe. Let me see. Or is it eight? One, two, three, four. I think there's 10 in a bag. Four, no, wait, I'm wrong. 14. 14 servings per, so there's 14 in a bag. Okay. Um, it contains whole grain and brown rice, period. That's it. All right. And Stacy did get caramel corn flavored, but I wanted the salt-free rice cakes. Because what I'm going to do is, in my Thrive order, I got um, the uh, Earth, it's like Earth something, I'm sorry. But it's a peanut butter, it's an organic peanut butter with flaxseed. And um, I want to spread on here, I did put regular peanut butter on here, what I had, I'm trying to use up first what I have. Um, I put that on here with a little bit of honey for a snack one day. And very, very healthy, especially with you're getting your proteins with the peanut butter and it's 40 calories per cake. So these are very cheap, a very good option for a snack and really healthy on that end. Okay. And again, they were $1.19. I'm sure you can find them just about anywhere. There's lots of places you can find them, but that's just where I happen to find them was giant uh, because that's the place I shop the most. Okay. So, um, We'll do the baking stuff. We'll do the baking stuff last. All right. So let's get into some of the things for dinner that you would have for dinner. First of all, um, obviously when you cook, you're going to need spices or whatever. I have a cabinet full of spices. Anywhere from garlic to uh, salt, obviously your salt, your pepper. Do you want to do that? Show that since it's vegan? Yeah, Stacy has something on the health and beauty one. As soon as I can figure out whatever else I did. Do I, where did I have? Hmm. Hang on, everybody. Wait, one second. I'll be right back. Hang, hang on a second. All right. Sorry about that. Stacy wanted to add something to the, to the makeup line. And um, I'll let her jump in and do the makeup then when we get to it. She's still, she's hanging out here. She's take me as I am day. Okay. So I'm trying to, uh, so I don't lose my train of thought. We were on spices. I keep your normal spices like paprika, salt, pepper, uh, you know, any spices that you like to use and cook with. Um, I do. 
So, uh, as far as salt, they tell you you should use regular iodized salt because you need the iodine. And I, I do use that. However, in cooking a lot of times, I like to use your regular Clover Valley coarse sea salt. Now, I have this for my soaps because I do put it on my soap. Soap, yes, because I do make soap. Um, but it's fantastic for cooking. Uh, use in all your favorite recipes. Uh, very, very good uh, from, you get your natural, it's totally 100% natural sea salt product of Sicily in Italy. Okay, so from Sicily. So coarse sea salt is wonderful to put on top of caramel sea salt cookies, um, all your baking, cooking, whatever. Very, very nutritious. Um, it, it's around two, and again, I want to say like around two and a quarter. This was bought at Walmart, and I'm sure you can get sea salt anywhere. This is for a 26.5 ounce container. Okay. All right. So as far as spices, keep your pantry stocked. Use a lot of spices. The spices are very, very good in cooking. Um, okay, so we're getting into the broths. And if you just wait one second, there is one of the broths I forgot to get. So, hang on. I will be right there. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. So, here's, as far as the broths. Okay. I... I got broth because I like to make soups. Now tonight I'm making like a, a tofu soup with tofu, um, brown broth, um, some sugar snap peas, some mushrooms, some carrots, uh, some a uh, little bit of onion, um, pretty much whatever you want to throw into an oriental soup, along with uh, ramen noodles. You can buy ramen noodles anywhere in any store, any type. You can buy rice ones, wheat ones. You can buy just about any ones that you like to get. I use both because I don't eat it that often. The wheat doesn't bother me, but I'm just trying to cut down a little bit on the wheat. But the first one, and I just discovered this, um, someone told me to try it. This is a broth that has, um, it's chicken broth with natural flavor. It has turmeric in, parsley flakes, uh, which I thought was really interesting with the turmeric. It's a very nutritious broth. You can just drink it as a broth. Um, it, this is 48 servings. I was surprised in this little, there's 24 cubes and it is by Noor. It's chicken flavor bouillon and natural flavor. Okay. And, um, it's for soup, stew, sauces. I know everyone had seen this before, but I was deeply impressed by this one. Okay, and there are little cubes in there. Um, so it's a, it's, it sounds very nutritious, very, um, I can't really say it's totally maybe our organic, but most of the ingredients in there, there's nothing in there that really shouldn't be in there. Okay, so this is a chicken broth. I did not try this yet. Again, I will let you know when I try it. This also, this was from, I believe, my Walmart order because I couldn't get regular um, chicken stock. And I thought, well, you know what? Maybe I'll try this instead. So I am going to try this in soups. Okay, so as far as organic, I'll show you both things that I got. This I already used, so as soon as I'm done, I'm going to throw it away. I just kept it because I wanted to do this video. This is, we tried this in a vegetable soup. Stacy and I, and it was absolutely delicious. There is a difference in organic broths. The taste is totally different, much more beefier, meatier broth. And this is organic broth by, um, this is from Walmart, USDA organic certified, organic, great value, beef flavored broth, fat free. 
Okay, and this was from Walmart. I believe this was $1.79 in container. Um, and it tells you all on the back, um, you know, you're going to have to go and read it. If there's things in there you can't have, it does have sea salt in there, tomato paste, onion powder, garlic powder, cane sugar. It has wonderful things in there. And I'll tell you, that was a great tasting broth for $1.79. Now, I didn't get to Walmart lately, so what I'm going to be using in my soup tonight is this one here, and this is from Giant. I'll let you know how this one is. This is Nature's Promise Organic Beef Flavored Broth, no cholesterol, fat-free, and it's in a container that looks like that. And you, you can find all this in the organic aisle, and some stores have it in just the regular aisle where the broths are. So I'm not quite sure, but this was in the organic aisle. And, um, and I think they may have had it in both places. I'm not sure. You know, the stores keep pushing everything around. Um, 10 calories, zero saturated fats, one gram of total sugar. Again, has basically the same things in... Uh, your beef stock, your sea salt, your or your vegetables, your onion, celery, tomato paste, paste, garlic powder, sea salt, cane sugar. So it basically has the same, and it technically was the same price as the one from Walmart. It's about $1.79. To make soup, I dumped the whole one in. I will probably use maybe half of this tonight for my soup since Stacy doesn't like tofu. Hmm. So I'll probably be dumping a half of one in and you can refrigerate the rest and it does last for quite a while. So I'm going to be using this tonight and that's our broths. Okay, so that's our base to starting something for dinner. Now, besides that, um, you're starting with your broths. When you're out there, as far as salads and greens and berries and it's so confusing actually it's not that confusing if you think about it people make it confusing if you want to eat organic berries it tells you on there organic and i will have to tell you eating organic vegetables the vegetables can be pricey this i only pay 2.99 for or it's, it's organic market side spring mix i get it for the same price at both places and this was bought actually uh, this one here, I think, was from Market Side. This is from Walmart. And it is the organic mix. And it has all your different lettuces in here. And I love it for our salad. Baby lettuce, baby greens. Washed and ready to eat. USDA certified organic. Okay. This says used by April 22nd. It is still good in there because I do keep it in the refrigerator nice and cool at a certain temperature and you know it does last for quite a while so i love this with uh apple cider vinegar the bragg's apple cider vinegar dressing um that you can make or your favorite organic dressing or whatever you like to put on your greens so if you want to buy organic it will say organic on the package and this is 2.99 and again that's not bad at all to be honest you know for for your lettuce and that okay so that is that takes care of your broths your lettuce all right so next thing stacy doesn't like to eat anything plant-based she's not a big fan i like the uh veggie burgers and that the one that i buy is by gardein and it's the ultimate beef first burger it's that one right there. I love that one because these are the ones that taste really like a hamburger. Um, it's 130 calories. It does have soy protein, your canola oil. It has wheat gluten. So be careful when you read if you're, if you're um, having problems with gluten. Read the back. It has quinoa. A lot of your, it has ancient grains in, which I was told recently is a whole other issue as far as your grains. Uh, your sea salt, celery seed. There's, again, pea protein. You have to read what's in here, but this tastes really like a hamburger. I love them, love them, love them. They're hard to get sometimes. You can buy these when Walmart has them. The place I find them again is Giant.
And this is around $3.99 for four burgers. But again, I, I savor them because I don't buy them that often. I keep them in my freezer when I'm tired of meat or I want to have one at lunchtime. I have a round glass that I cut out rounds from bread, like wheat bread. If I don't have a roll, I try not to use too many rolls. Or I put them between um, a flour tortilla or something like that. And sometimes I just eat a plain with some avocado on the top. So, but these are very, very good. They do taste like a regular hamburger. And on the back, they are non-GMO verified on the back there. 14 grams of protein. You can put them in the microwave. You can uh, do them in a pan. You can do them on the grill. You can do them just about anywhere. Always vegan, dairy-free, kosher, and it's made with plant protein. And they're the Gardein. And Gardein has a whole bunch of different grains and things like that. Um, not grains, uh, like beef crumbles and all other kinds of meat things like meatballs, um, you know, made with this kind of plant-based beef. Okay. Stacy, would you put these back in the freezer for me, please? Stacy's going to put these back in the freezer for me. She's kind of not like up to it today. She's kind of like, uh -huh, blah. Okay. Now that we're talking about plant-based things and that, say hello, Stacy. Hi. <laughs> She's take me as I am today. All right. So what I was saying about eating healthy, again, I mentioned tofu. I love tofu. Um, tofu you can buy just about anywhere. You can, and these days you can buy, there's the soft, there's firm, extra firm, silken tofu. If you want to put that like in eggs or uh, there's a couple different kinds. Um, yeah, Stacy takes me as I am. I'm going to let her do... Um, uh, I'm going to let her do the, uh, makeup. Okay. For you then I'll take a two minute breather and get a drink and she can do the makeup, which is only a few things. Okay. So the next one is tofu and I buy either Nesoya, which is very good or house foods. I buy the extra firm tofu. This is very inexpensive. It's about a dollar, again, a dollar sixty-nine, dollar seventy-nine. Sometimes it's on sale for a dollar and a half. Um, tofu is actually pasteurized with double cooling system, premium, and as you know, it's made out of soybeans. It's water, soybeans, calcium. Okay, keep refrigerated, perishable, no preservatives, it's stored in water. Very, very healthy. I make tofu stir fries. I'm going to make the soup with tofu. There's lots and lots of recipes out there to make with tofu. And you can bake it, um, which I'm going to try uh, marinating it, like in a, uh, maybe a, I can't eat ginger. I found out I'm allergic to ginger. So some kind of a marinade someday and bake some of it and see how it works out. So uh, yeah, tofu, very, very healthy. There's a lot you can do with tofu and eat healthy. You can mix it with eggs in the morning. I'm making a soup with it. And especially I love my stir fry with uh, mixed oriental vegetables and ramen noodles. And, uh, delicious. Can't even go there. But I... I really love tofu. Okay, so that's kind of just some of the things you can eat for dinner. Now, because of the fact that I don't want to keep you too long, I'm just going to keep moving right along here. Okay, um, let's go with nuts. I did the, um, the, the lettuce. Okay, so I did the lettuce. I really like these. They're dry roasted sunflower kernels made with sea salt. As you can tell, I use quite a few out of here. We love them in salads uh, with feta cheese, uh, which is like a goat's milk cheese, um, all sorts of things like that. So I love the, the sunflower seeds. They're good for a snack. Mostly I use them in, um, in salads. Again, look on there. You can buy them organic, organic, but these are a very good source of uh, protein. One gram of sugar, and I did buy them with the sea salt, and these were bought in Giant. And, you know, I bought these such a long time ago, I don't remember what I paid for them. 
maybe a dollar and a half. I'm not sure. Um, and this is a uh, 7.25 ounce. So very good source of protein. All righty. Then um, I'm going to go on to the baking stuff before I go to, you know, the drink stuff. Okay. The baking stuff. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. I'm just going to go through everything that we can use for baking. Right now, yeast is very hard to find. Flour is hard to find. Sugar is hard to find. So, um, you know, it's what you can get. Uh, we've decided to try some things gluten-free because we've been eating a lot of tasty cakes. And so we're going this route and see if we can feel a little better and not gain so much weight. All right. So to start out with, everybody, you know, these days watches their calories, especially frying. I bought an air fryer, a small one, and I love it. Stacy puts everything in the air fryer. Um, when I can, I use olive oil all the time. Everybody argues out there with different brands of olive oil. You buy and use what brand of olive oil you like to use, okay? I buy the Giant brand. It's great. I buy the extra virgin olive oil because I don't do much frying, okay? Now, the other day I made a recipe that called for coconut oil. I always have coconut oil around because I put it in my soaps. So I'm like, hmm, I never actually tried cooking with olive or with coconut oil before. So yeah, and everybody's doing it. I just never tried it. So I tried it in my recipe and it worked just like your shortening, your regular shortening, your margarine, and you're a lot healthier. I buy the Luana coconut oil. You can get two of these jars for $9.99 in a pack. There are 30 ounces. It's 100% Luana coconut oil, non-hydrogenated coconut oil, non-GMO derived food. Every zero trans fat. Everybody knows non-GMO is genetically, genetically modified, non-genetically modified. Okay, so calories is 120 calories per serving, which is a tablespoon. Um, in here, ingredients, coconut oil, period. No other ingredients, okay? This says it's, do, it's not used for deep frying. Um, and you can read down the back. You can go, okay, this is from the Philippines and Indonesia. So, you know, it's 100% coconut oil. You can buy organic, which is very, very expensive, a little more expensive, like twice the price. But I find that Luana is, is just as good. And it's 100% coconut oil. You can't get any better than that. So I tried using the coconut oil. I really, really liked it. Um, an individual one of these, I believe, is only like $3.00. But, or no, I'm wrong. The double, no, I am wrong. Okay. They're like $4.89 because it's a 30 ounce. It's $4.89. But if you buy two of them, they're $9.99. The smaller one, the smaller jar is $2.89. But if you buy the two of these for $9.99, you'll have them around. And that is a really good deal for that. Okay. So that's your coconut oil. Now, when I said about baking... Um, I bought this actually, it's by King Arthur Flour. This was expensive. This was about four and a quarter a bag. Um, it's measure to measure flour, one to one substitute for wheat flour. It's gluten free, non GMO and whole grain, 50% plus a uh, whole grain. Okay. But now, it's gluten-free, measure-to-measure flour. This was only a pound. I do belong to Thrive, and I'm getting a bigger bag, a three-pound bag, for about the same price. I just wanted to try a recipe with it to see how it would be. Okay? And in this flour is... Let me see what we got here. Rice flour, whole grain brown rice flour, 
whole sorghum flour, tapioca starch, potato starch, a low cellulose anthem gum, a vitamin and mineral blend. That's it, period. That's what's in the flour, okay? Now, what we made out of that flour and that coconut oil was a recipe which was cinnamon streusel muffins. And this is how they came out. I have the recipe. Um, when I get a chance, I will put the recipe, if I can, at the bottom for these. It is not my recipe. They are not dense. They were not dry. They were light and fluffy. They're absolutely delicious. You would not think that these are gluten-free. Does that look yummy? Stacy really likes them. She was very skeptical at first, but she really, really liked them. So there's all other flowers out there. There's coconut flour, almond flour is very expensive. And you have to add xanthan gum to it, which helps it make it nice and fluffy. And xanthan gum brings it together. And whatever all it does, I'm not sure because I'm new to that. I'll be honest with you. Okay, but that one-to-one -one flour you can substitute in any recipe that you want to. Okay, and everything is included in here. All right, then I picked up, they had the last one and this was 50 cents a box. If you're a vegetarian, this I never saw before. I've seen it because I've bought the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Everybody buys them. This is, says it's vegetarian, Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. Add egg and milk. It was the last one there. And I have no idea what makes a vegetarian. You would think it would be vegetarian because of the fact it's corn. Um, so if anybody knows that answer, you can please comment on the bottom because I'm not really sure. It does contain wheat flour, yellow cornmeal, sugar, and palm oil, soybean oil, and you can read the ingredients. I am going to, I have blueberries, fresh blueberries. I'm going to add some blueberries to it and make some blueberry corn muffins. So I'm going to try that. It's a vegetarian Jiffy corn muffin mix. Then we decided to buy, Stacy wanted to try some other gluten-free mixes. She picked out, the, this is, um, that corn muffin mix was from Giant. This is from Aldi's, and again, I am not speaking for Aldi's either, okay? These are just the stores that are around me that we found some of these items. This was very inexpensive. This was about a dollar and a half a box. It is called Live, Live Free, Live G Free for gluten-free. It's gluten-free chocolate baking mix to make muffins, okay, by Good Housekeeping. I was surprised to see that Aldi's carried stuff like this, okay? So we're going to try that, uh, which is the muffin mix. I picked up, I do have a box of pancake mix in there. I was pretty stocked up on pan pancake and waffle mix. However, I did find out that if that has been bothering me a little bit with stomach-wise, I think with the gluten. So, um... We picked this out as gluten-free pancake and baking mix, which is kind of, I would think, like maybe Bisquick. Um, and this also was from Aldi's and was like a dollar, I think a dollar and a half. Pancakes, waffles, biscuits, muffins, and more. And there's a recipe on the back, coffee cake with fruit and biscuits. And that's live free. And that was about a dollar and a half a box. And that is a 16 ounce box. And that also was from Aldi's. So again, there's lots of organic stuff out there. And then if you want to eat co like kosher, kosher, um, Giant had this on sale the other day. It's made with real lemons because Stacy was trying to get the lemon tasty cakes. Can't get them. Every time they come in, they're out of stock. This is by, and I can never, it's Crustens. It's K-R-U-S-T-E-A-Z, and you've seen this around. It is the Meyer Lemon Mix. These are very natural, very good mixes. Um, this was on sale at Giant for a dollar and a half a box. Um, the calories are 130 calories, and yes, it does contain wheat flour, 
um, but it also has soybean and palm oil, um, some milk proteins, um, lemon powder from Meyer lemons, and lemon juice, and that, oh, and turmeric probably for the color. Um, so we're going to try them. Um, they say they're kosher. They're very good and natural. So we're going to make these this week. All right. So that's for basically your baking mixes. So again, it's not hard out there to find items um, to cook and bake with that are natural. Okay. So now everybody likes their drink products when with dinner or snacking or what have you. So, um, I don't have everything here, but again, there is tons and tons of drink items. Number one, what I'd like to show you is Ibera, it's coconut water, no pulp. There's a lot of people that drinks coconut water, very, very healthy for you. Um, you can use it in smoothies, which I am gonna try it in a smoothie. Uh, with strawberries and maybe blueberries, uh, banana and coconut water. Mainly, if you can take strawberries and blueberries, add coconut water, you can put it in a dish, put it in their freezer. You can make your own ice pops out of it that way. You can make your own sherbet. Um, I was reading up on that, but it's also very good in a smoothie. And I think a little vodka. <laughs> so... Summer's coming up. Sorry. I know. it's I'm in the house too long. But this is what it looks like. I think it was a dollar a can, which is a little pricey. You can, if you look around, I think you can get it a little cheaper. It's Ibera, I-B-E-R-I-A, coconut water. Okay. And to be honest, I don't even remember what I bought it for. But... Um, it may have been for a recipe. I have a can left. I'm going to make smoothies out of it for me and Stacy. All right. Next is Stacy's favorite. This is her zero sugar glacier or yeah, no, G-L-A-C-E-A-U, Glaceau vitamin water. It's cool blueberry and lavender. And I don't need to tell you that blueberries, all your berries are antioxidants. Lavender is very good inside and out for your whole well-being. Uh, lavender has tons and tons of properties if you just look lavender up. When our scientists were designing this flavor of vitamin water, we insisted were iced up our bejeweled and diamonds. In the end, the diamonds made them feel good. And in return, the scientists made this lovely drink that had vitamins and a kick of cool. 100% antioxidant vitamin C, 100% vitamins B5, B6, B12, kick of cool, and electrolytes. It's a nutrient-enhanced water beverage. So it's vitamin water, cool blueberry, lavender, all natural flavors, zero sugar. And that's what it looks like. And we get it at Giant. It's very hard to find. Is that the only store you find it at, Stacy? And Wise. And Wise, Stacy said. They're the, only two. They're the only two stores that we can find this particular lavender, blueberry and lavender. Okay. It is absolutely delicious. All right. Then, this is what I like to drink, and Stacy's been drinking them. These are from, you can all buy these everywhere. We buy It's the Clear Splash in the can. I just bought the uh, Lemon Lime. These are the Sparkling Waters and Clear Splash. Very, very natural, zero calories, sugar-free, sodium-free, caffeine-free. These come, we just bought a case of them. They come in a lot of flavors. And in every store, they're all different flavors and kinds of uh, sparkling waters now that you can buy. That's our choice of what we like to drink. Then, the last in the drink products is tea. We love our teas. We drink all different kinds of flavored teas, preferably herbal teas. Uh, this is one that I am very partial to. It's Bigelow Benefits Chamomile Lavender, again lavender, herbal tea for a good night's sleep. I have trouble sleeping. I drink a cup of this at night, right before you go to bed. It really does relax you. It's good if you're sick with a little honey in. Um, I use honey. I have coconut sugar coming to my house from Thrive. 
I'm going to get away from the um, sweeteners like the Splenda, and I might try the, the coconut sugar instead. Um, it is by Bigelow Benefits. I have six boxes of these coming from Amazon because I like them so much and are very hard to get. I do find it in Giant and Wise. I do not find this in Walmart. Walmart's very lean on this kind of teas. It's by Bigelow, which I always have a good tea. It has chamomile uh, for Soothe and Calm, lavender, cherished flower traditionally for relaxation, and it has poppy flowers. Bright colored flower, commonly associated with restfulness and calm. And then you can read the back of the box. Um, the, okay, actually the ingredients are chamomile, wild orange leaves, passion flower, lavender, red poppy flowers, natural lavender, and rose. Okay. And, um, I, this, I really, really enjoy having after dinner at night with a cupcake or a muffin, you know, like the gluten-free muffin or something like that, or just that before I go to bed. Um, so there's 18 tea bags in there and it's, it's by Bigelow. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy that tea when I can get it. And like I said, I did just order it off of Amazon so that I would have quite a few boxes. Um, okay. Then that's your drink stuff. And then before I let Stacy do the couple little things of makeup here, we're now cleaning everything. We're cleaning groceries. We're cleaning the house. We're cleaning countertops. We're cleaning just about everything with this coronavirus. I wanted to go a little more healthier. Okay. Um, I try to do, I try to buy products that aren't harsh because I am allergic to Clorox. So I just found, actually Stacy found these. They're by Nature's Promise. And these are from Giant, uh, Nature's Promise, free from uh, artificial fragrances, dyes, chemicals, and fumes. They're plant-based surface cleaning wipes, lemon verbena scent, and that's what they look like, Nature's Promise. However, I'm allergic to them. Stacy, however, is allergic to them, I think, because of the lemon verbena. I've made soap with lemongrass, and she was fine, but this is lemon verbena. So I think it's the verbena that she is kind of allergic to because she breaks out in hives. There is um, like about, I think about like 35 wipes in here. So there isn't a whole lot, but this is what we could get at the time with the new coronavirus crisis that we have at the moment. However, I like them for cleaning the counter, wiping off groceries, um, you know, I like them like that. Would I buy these again? It was Stacy being allergic, probably not, but that's why I only I use them. Okay. Um, Stacy, what did you pay for them? I think they were like two eighty nine. They were like two eighty nine a container. Then the other day I was down giant and this you can get anywhere also. Um, this is You've probably all seen her name before. Mrs. Myers, M-E-Y-E-R-S, <laughs> Clean Day, multi-surface, everyday cleaner, removes dirt, refreshes, freshens surfaces. And it's in a bottle that looks like that. I bought the peony scented. Okay, I'll move it back a little bit. Um, it has a really good size sprayer on it. It's made with plant-derived cleaning ingredients, essential oils made without parabens and phthalates, uh, glycol solvents, and no artificial flavors. Keep out of reach of children and pets. Um, and this will be good for everywhere in the house. It's an everyday cleaner for your countertops. You know, they're saying with the coronavirus, it doesn't all have to be 99% alcohol or 91%, at least 91% alcohol. And even just plain soap and water will kill it on porouses, whether they're non-porous, porous, whatever. Um, so, you know, it, it breaks it down. It's very sensitive to soap. So I think this is a good alternative. I can't wait to try it. I just picked it up the other day. Um, I believe this was like three, 329 at Giant. Okay, I do 
uh, deal with Thrive, and I know on Thrive it was a little bit more than that at the time. That's why I didn't purchase it, but since this was the price of Giant, I picked it up to try. And I did have it in Lemongrass, or no, Lemon Verbena, but I did pick the Peony Scent, so I'm going to try that. All right. Then, last but not least in my grocery section, um, I use these when I travel. I use them in the bathroom. Um, I, you can use them for your hands, face, and bottom for personal cleansing. And these are Huggies. These are simply clean, fragrance-free, and they're the Disney baby because... They're really, really natural. I do buy them also with the aloe sometimes, which doesn't bother me. These run about a dollar and a half a pack, sometimes a dollar ninety-seven a pack. You can get these just about anywhere. You they usually have them. Walmart, Giant, any of your big box name stores have the Huggies baby wipes. Stacy says she thinks she got these on Amazon three for five. Okay. So that is, oh no, snacks. Oh my goodness. I almost forgot the rest of our snacks. So there's only two things I have here from when I showed you, you know, the rice cakes, which you can have. I bought this the other day or Stacy picked it up. I think this was from Aldi's. It's mild mango peach salsa with tomatoes, peaches, mango, onions, and jalapeno peppers. Um, it's very natural, very, no preservatives. I'll put that over. Um, she wants to put it over, try it on chicken. And that was from Aldi's. It's six, 16 ounce jar. Stacy, how much was that? Do you remember? Uh, it, it was less than giant. Uh, maybe 275 She said maybe around 275 um, so me. she picked that up and it'll be good also with tortilla chips. So again, you even down to your salsa, you can get, um, very fresh items. And a snack I picked up at Giant, um, is the Edenami, which is like, uh, heart healthy, non-GMO, 130 calories, um, per serving, heart healthy, dry roasted edamame. I got the wasabi, which I can't wait to try. I know it's going to be spicy, but I like the wasabi. And edamame is from Sea Point Farms Dry Roasted. It's a healthy and delicious pack, plant-based protein and fiber. They're like your pea beans, your green, green gems, like are the little peas. Okay. Um, and so can't wait to try them. And soy, uh, uh, soybean, sea salt, wasabi, wasabi oil, and dextrin. And obviously they're soy. They're made in California and a product of China. Sorry. <laughs> um, and it is from seapointfarms.com. Okay. So can't wait to try them as a snack. And there's one thing I'd like to say. I'm sorry I made that face. You know, there is a lot of people out there that do blame the Chinese um, for this virus. And, you know, please don't do that. Um, there's a lot of animosity between people because of what happened. Um, I just look at it this way. However it happened, it happened. We are all one as people. We have loved ones. We have family that have been affected by this, no matter what country you live in. So, you know, things happen. This was something we were told that was coming for a long time anyway. So please, please, please don't take it out on any one, you know, country for this happening. Um, you know, that's just the way I feel. Everybody has someone, everybody has a family, everybody loses loved ones and they've suffered just as much as we have been suffering. So, you know, again, I'm not saying let's all just love peace, joy. I'm all I'm saying is it happened. Let's all get through this as a nation, um, and as a country and the whole world, this, let's face it, this affected the whole world, no matter what country you live in, it, it was affected in one shape, way or form. So, um, you know, I'm going to get off my soapbox and just say that, you know, we're all a person 
Just look at it that way. Okay, so Stacy's gonna do. There's only a few things here in the natural makeup, I and I'll tell her to be it. quick because this is like an hour long already. Okay, okay? so here, Stacy, I'm gonna take a drink. So we're gonna experiment on my mom in a minute. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. I have do the bird's bees because I have the makeup on. So. Tell me if other stuff that's natural is the Burt's Bees. And this one is coconut and pear. It really doesn't have much of a taste, but it is one of my favorites, as you can tell. You put it on. <laughs> but it is yummy. And they also make makeup. Now, I'm not a fan of the makeup. I think I, I have it on, by the way. That's yeah. what I have on. I gave it to my mom. Tell them a little bit about the makeup. Um, it covers well. well. I'm not sure what to say too much about it. You know, I'm a ma I'm a girl of many words, but uh, it is pretty. It is pretty natural. It's liquid. I don't what know. Does it say on the back, Stacy? It's it organic. Is... What is it? I have no idea. It is our full coverage mineral formula leaves skin smoother and more radiant with a natural finish that's not heavy or greasy. Is it greasy? No, it's not. Okay. It does smell a little plant based. Yeah, it does. Our moisturizing foundation instantly hydrates and nourishes skin with metal form seed oil. Seed oil. Metal form oil. And that is a wonderful, wonderful oil in, to use in bath and beauty products. Known for its natu naturally beautiful results, both sit inside and out. So there you go, Burt's Bees. And this one is called Buff. Okay. And tell them, you know, how the Burt's Bees, everybody knows the Burt's Bees line. Yeah, everybody knows the Burt's Bees line. Um, like I said, I wasn't too a fan of the smell. I actually couldn't wear it because of the smell. But if you don't mind like a more earthy smell to it, then you might be able to wear it. Yeah, my mom doesn't mind it, so. And it does wear off after a while. Now, I was looking for, you know, hand sanitizer is really hard to find these days. And I just did a Google search and I found this company called California Mango. And it is, it's just cruelty free. It's made in California. It's vegan free, gluten free. And if you're from California, it's a certified California cool. So whatever that means, you can let me know. No, I'm not sponsoring it. I just like the stuff. Um, it's by California Man Mango Bath and Body Care. And they do have other things on the list. Um, the only thing I had ordered was the California antiseptic spray. And it is a spray. And we'll test it on my mom. See how she likes it. Oh, really? Okay. And we spray it on just like that. Ooh, it does. Mm, does it make is... your hands soft? No. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, now that it's drying. Ooh. It's just a hand sanitizer. That would be so... good on a cool day to help sanitize yeah. your hands, cool your hands off. You originally bought it for what, Stacy? Your feet? Well, no. This you wouldn't oh. be able to use on your feet because it's, oh, okay. it's a hand sanitizer. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Um, It's 4.3 ounces. Um, I don't remember how much alcohol is in it. I want to say it's like 67 proof, maybe. I don't know. Maybe my mom Let might be see. able to see that. But anyway, it was $9.99 and I think $4.99 shipping. And then they had sent me a California mango lip it's gloss. It's 99.9% uh, antiseptic. Okay. And then they had sent me the mango extreme cream. So we'll let mom smell that. Let's smell this. Ooh, that smells really good. What did I order from this company again? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, it smells it's really for good. for extra dry skin. I'll try some of that later. Yeah. And that's what it looks like. Is that the size tube, Stacey, or is that just a sample tube? That and the chapstick is yeah. just a sample. Oh, okay. That and the chapstick, she said, from the California Mango were samples. And Stacy will look up the... Um, the website for you then and when i post this i'll put it down below so again this was 9.99 and it was 4.3 ounces so it's not a big it's not a big bottle but i think it's worth it it'll last you a long time and and then i got uh they sent me these two as a sample and then it was 4.99 shipping or something like that so i'm not too bad And the shipping was pretty, pretty fast, too, so. Okay. There you go. Okay. So that was Stacy's portion of the little makeup. Did you do the Burt's Bees uh, lip balm? I just said this is the Burt's Bees lip balm. <laughs> She's funny. Okay. The Burt's Bees lip balm is 100% natural. It's bring back the bees. Um, uh, everybody I know where I buy my beeswax from when I make my soaps and, um, bombs, uh, they donate money, uh, a dollar to, a dollar per bag or per pound to, uh, Save the Bees Foundation because we all know what's happening to your, uh, bees these days. Uh, the bees are becoming really extinct. There are no beekeepers around. And because if you go on Save the Bees Foundation, it will tell you why. Lack of pollen from pollution, pesticides, they are actually killing our bee, um, our bee uh, population. Um, this has no parabens, um, no parabens, no phosphates, and Everybody knows about Burt's Bees. Wonderful, wonderful product. Okay, so now that I thoroughly went through everything and probably bored all of you, I just thought that this was a good video to make because you can eat healthier with summer coming. You can eat healthier. Um, you know, there's tons of products out there to, um, you know, to cut down on a lot of chemicals. Again, I'm not going crazy with this. I, we're just trying to introduce a little more healthier life for me and Stacy. Um, so, you know, as long as these items are available, we'll continue to purchase them. Um, if there's something that I think really, really stands out, I'll come back on. I'll let you know, make a little video on what we really, really liked. Um, so I think that's going to be it for today. Um, for the California Mango, I will put the website in there for you for that. Um, and everybody knows the stores, Giant Market, Walmart, Aldi's. Um, so everybody knows about all those supermarkets that may be around you. Uh, so I will let you know how my soups bake out. Um, I will someday, Stacy and I might make, might do a video um, while we're making maybe the uh, lemon squares or, you know, if we try and try another recipe with um, the gluten-free flour. Um, and what else? You know, maybe some cooking recipes we'll, we'll throw in there for you along the way too. Uh, we do have more clothing boxes coming and this was just a video, like I said, because I did the Thrive Market, this was just a video to show you that you can get a lot of these items around here at your local supermarkets too also. Thrive Market does give you though, a lot of things that are at a very good price, a little bit cheaper than your stores and the convenience of coming to your home. And there's a lot of neat and interesting snacks and all kinds of things that you would not find in your regular grocery store. Okay, but this is just an array of things that you can buy in your grocery store. Um, so I did not go out and buy these for the purpose of this video. It's things that we were replacing or buying when we were running out because we knew we wanted to try this for quite some time now. All right. So that's it for today. I'm sorry this ran so long. Um, 
so we just tried to bring you a little bit of everything and I hope you enjoy the video. Please click subscribe and our notification button, uh, the little bell um, to show you when uh, we're putting one up. Uh, thank you to all the people, new subscribers that we have. Uh, we value each and every one of you. Please make comments, be kind. If there's something that you think we need to try out, anything organic or clothes-wise or a certain box, please let us know. We're always up for a challenge. Um, so I think that's it for today. And so uh, thanks to Stacy doing the little um, beauty portion of it. Uh, and um, I'm Sandy, and that was Stacy, and this was our organic shopping um little organic shopping spree uh, items and um, thanks for watching. So thanks to Stacy. I'm Sandy. We're the fashion girls doing food today. All right. Thanks a lot. I'm just going to put this here so I know where I'm at. Please stay safe. Listen to your state guidelines and we'll get through this. I promise. All right. Bye-bye now.